In this video, we'll try writing a progression that uses uh, an enharmonic reinterpretation of a 5-7 to modulate to a remote key. Uh, here is the progression that we'll write. I'll play the outer voices for you, and then we'll talk about um, how to fill in the inner voices. Our pivot to the new key is right here. And this is reinterpreting the 5-7 as a German 6-5. Uh, notice that this is not a 5-7 of the original key. Instead, it's an applied 5-7. In other words, it's a 5-7 of four. Uh, but you can use, you can reinterpret an applied 5-7 the exact same way that you reinterpret the regular 5-7. We'll just follow the same type of voice leading that we did in Beethoven. And in fact, reinterpreting an applied 5-7, especially 5-7 of four, in order to modulate to a remote key is pretty common. All right, let's start with our tonic chord in the key of F major. I'll put the third in the tenor. And I'll double the F in the, um, in the uh, alto. Now I need to go to a minor four. And here that MIX is reminding you that that's a mixture chord. In other words, it's a chord borrowed from the parallel key of F, of F minor. Pause this video if you have to and write down the notes of the minor four. You should write down B flat, D flat, and F. D flat here is that mixture note. It's that flat scale to B6 borrowed from the parallel minor. Uh, we already have B, D flat in the uh, uh, soprano and B flat in the bass. Um, F we can just keep in the alto. And I'll have that A go up to the B flat, the double the root there. Next, uh, we'll go back to this one and uh, we'll just use the same exact voicing we used for the first chord. Next, we're going to go to a 5-7 of 4. Pause the video if you have to and write down the notes of a 5-7 of 4. In the key of F major, um, scale degree 4 is B flat. If you go up a fifth from that B flat, you get F, which is our, in other words, scale degree 1. And if you build a major minor 7 chord, you should get the notes F, A, C, and E flat. The F and the C are already in the chord because of the outer voices. The A we can keep in the tenor. <clears throat> and that means that we'll have to put the E flat in the alto. It also leads to that chordal seventh by step. So that's a nice uh, progression. Next, we're gonna use this chord as our pivot. We're going to use this chord as our pivot and we interpret it as a German 6-5. So in order to do that, uh, we need to remember that when we reinterpret a 5-7 as an augmented sixth chord, we need to imagine that that minor seventh is respelled to become an augmented sixth. In other words, we're going to imagine that this E flat was enharmonically respelled as D sharp and resolve this as if it's an augmented sixth chord. So let's remember our rules for resolving the augmented sixth. The rules are um, you find scale degree six and sharp scale degree four. In other words, the two notes that form a, um, uh, uh, the two notes that form an augmented sixth and make sure that the resolve by semitone in contrary motion to scale degree five. So uh, lowered scale degree six is here. That resolves like that. And now raised four in the key of A major is going to be D sharp, which means that must go up. I'll write in a caution. I'll write in a cautionary accidental there to show that that E flat is becoming E natural. <clears throat> uh, so now we can just follow the figured bass. We have a sixth above the bass here. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, here. We have an octave above, above the bass here, and so now we just need a fourth and we can put that in the tenor. That's also a preparation for that dissonant note, so that works out well. 
Finally, we can follow this figured base and just move each one of these voices down by step. So this A is going to go down to G. And do we need an accidental in front of that G? Well, remember that we're in the key of A major. So we need the leading tone in the A major, in the A major scale. This E is going to go down by step to D. Finally, we'll resolve this chord to the tonic. This is our preparation for the chordal seventh, so this is going to go down by step. And remember that we're going to the key of A major. So what accidental, what accidental do we need in front of that C? A sharp. And then I'll resolve the leading tone up. I could also go down by leap too. And that's also a resolution of that fourth in the cadential 6 4. I will now play this progression. <laughs> You might try singing along with this alto part because that has that enharmonic reinterpretation. In the next video, we'll look at a more, um, more elaborate example of enharmonic reinterpretation of 5-7 in Mahler.